up guys, it's Megan here and today we are reviewing the SH Monster Arts Mega Godzilla Free or Heavy Arms QU. Now this figure cost me um, $159 tax, $168. Yeah, my mom was like so I have to go buy it, but here's the back box. You get that, you get a nice logo saying Mega Gojira. Mega Godzilla. Then you have SH Mega Godzilla free. I'm not too sure what this means. But let's look at the figure. Well, basically, this is an accessory. And basically, how you take these out and you. It's basically these little pegs you just take out. And um, when you get your figure out of your bo box, um, you. These will be on him already. These ones, not the um, arm. Yeah, you just put those in. And, um. Yeah, the arm will be attached, and I think I just dropped it. Um. And, um. Yeah. Now, this will not be on your figure when you get him. This is a. This is another accessory. This is how it will look when you get it out. It's his bag. But basically, um, we attach this, and I just want to give a shout out to two people. I want to give a shout out to Def the Hedgehog and the Mario Bros. Seventeen. Yeah. So basically, for articulation on this figure, um, it's kind of a lot. You, his arms can move. You can move this up and down. Well, if his arm's here, and then here, ball joint here, you can move his legs. His leg like here's like, like the bottom legs, like so cold, like feeling cold a bit. I don't know why, but um, basically this, this does did this, dude. Um, don't drop it. And yeah, you can remove his head. Oh my gosh. And, yeah, I'm kind of afraid that one of these days these um little pegs will break off. And I don't know why, but SH had to make this like um this. But uh, you, I think you should be very careful. And you can put on his Edo head. Yeah, we're gonna just put it on as carefully as we can. Like I know one of these days um. Like, I know Japan. But if you don't know who movie he's from, he's from none other than God's old Tokyo SOS. So basically, this is his Edo head piece. His battle damage eye, which I think is pretty cool, actually. Like, yeah. You can swap a hand here. Yeah. Uh, you, all I do is just swivel it around until it gets out, and, um, yeah, you can put his drill arm on, and, uh, I feel like I should show you guys a, um, comparison to the Bandai Pink Tanks. Okay, now, this one's, like, old, like, um, uh, like, this one's old. He's not that like shiny, he's just like in a like this one's just like in a darkish gray color. When this one's like so shiny. Like this one's like blends into the dark, and this one's like so shiny. Yeah, he's shiny. This one you can move move his head. Yeah. Basically, like the other one's head is like a pain in the ass to get back on. His Bandai self and pigs. Yeah. But yeah. This one's like. But scaling here, he is bigger. Like his. But for edo articulation, his chest opens up. Which is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and. 
And um, let's do some scaling. No, I just feel like for this, we're gonna just do SH. Here he is next to Godzilla 2014. Yeah, he's bigger than him unless he lifts his head up. He's still manages to be bigger. And then we have my second SH figure. The Heisei Godzilla. Yeah, he does go to his neck. So, for paint job, he does get a A plus. So, you may be asking, what do I recommend this figure? Well, the price is maybe too high, but it's a... Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Sorry, dear. No, the price may be too high, It, but it's worth it. This is one of SH's best figures, next to a lot of Edda's. But, if I had to say, this would have to be the figure that would be the best of all of them. Like, 2014 had, like, that dirt buy problem. Basically, he was still a good figure, but this one is amazing. Like, it's a great figure. You should go pick it up while it's still on store shelves. Like, ask for it for your birthday, for holidays, and whatever. So, yeah. Um... So basically, shoutouts go to Mario Bro 17 and Def the Hedgehog. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.